Hello, my name is Robert and today I'm going to show you how to do a simple AI in Unreal. This will be a four tutorial series and this will be the final result. Uh, don't worry about these lines, they are just, um, they aren't permanent, you can take them off. This is just for demonstration purposes. And as you can see when the lines are pretty much red, it means that the AI is seeing us and he's chasing us. And now that they turned uh, green in this corner, he um, he stopped chasing us and he's in patrol mode so he's trying to find us and as you can see he isn't um, he can go upstairs and he doesn't uh, bang into walls which is pretty cool so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project and we want the third person template and we want to make sure we have the start content just in case and I'm going to name this uh, AI tutorial so I'm going to press on create project and I'm going to wait for this to open up so now we're going to look for nav mesh and this is for the nav mesh uh, bounce volume so we are going to drag this in and we're going to scale this up so it fits uh, the whole area where our AI will be playing. I want to make sure I move this over here and if we press P you'll see that uh, some green areas appeared and this is where the AI will be able to play. So now if we go into content I'm going to duplicate the third person BP. So I want to make a new folder and I want to name it AI and I want to go, oops, sorry about that. I want to go into third person BP blueprints. I want to duplicate. I want to name this AI controller. So I want to click over here and I'm going to go into AI, oops, crap. <laughs> and I want to duplicate, name this AI. Now I'm going to drag this in here. I'm going to uh, press move here. So now I'm going to open up AI. I want to wait for this to load. And I'm going to delete everything. So I want to go into uh, the. Also, we want to delete these. Uh. So to delete these variables, we also need to delete these components. So as you can see, they disappeared. And now we're going to go into viewport. And I want to add a new component. And we're going to look in the AI section for the pawn sensing. And if I press on this and compile, as you can see, we have kind of these weird lines going on. So I want to change the Prefer, peripheral vision angle and then uh, 56 something between 40 and 60 is pretty good so I want to compile and save so now I'm going to go back into the AI folder and I'm going to create an a enum and this should be in blueprints <coughs> excuse me and I'm going to name this AI states okay so I'm going to open this up and I'm going to create three uh, new enums and I'm going to name the first one idle the second one will be uh, oops. the second one will be chase not oh sorry and the third one is attack So make sure you press save and the reason why we did this enum and named it state is because the AI works uh, like a state machine, not like a conventional state machine, but it's a little bit different, but it works pretty similarly. And basically the AI has different states and depending on what state it does, it does one thing or another. And we have idle, chase and attack. So now I'm going to create an AI controller. So I'm going to blueprint class. 
and press on player controller. And I'm going to call it AI My Controller just to make sure uh, that's the controller we want. So if we go back into the AI Blueprint and we press on AI Self, you'll see that over here in the Pawn AI Controller class, uh, it's using the AI Controller, but they want the AI My Controller. So the reason why we want our own controller is because if we want different kinds of AIs, uh, we need to make sure we have a different controller. So if we go into the event graph, uh, well, we're going to start by doing some variables. And the one we want, uh, we already have pawn sensing. And now we want a reference to the player. So I'm going to call this player ref. In, in the variable type, we want to look for uh, third person char uh, character reference. So now we're going to make another uh, variable and it's going to be called state. And it's going to be of variable type AI states. Um, if you've named this, for example, states or my states, make sure that's the burial, uh, variable type you have. So I'm going to press compile. We want to make sure the state is at chase. And the reason for this is because when the artificial intelligence spawns, um, and if it's, let's say it's looking at the player, if it's an idle, it will look for a different position and it might not chase the player. So that's the reason why it starts at chase. Although if, it, if the player is not uh, being seen, by the AI and the chase state, it will not chase it, it will go back to idle. So this is just to prevent that bug I just mentioned. So now we're going to um, go into, we're going to create the, sorry, uh, event being in play. And I'm going to make a cast uh, to third person character and we want to make sure that the object is get player character. And I'm going to press compile and if you have a yellow error over here or something like that, um, it's probably because you don't have this right. If you don't understand what a cast is, make sure we have a, actually we made a video explaining what they do, so make sure to watch that. And now I'm going to get the player reference set and I'm going to make sure we plug that and I'm going to compile. So I'm going to comment this. So I'm going to select everything, press C, and let's just put um, set player ref. And after that, um, we're going to go into the map and we're just going to, we're going to play, place the AI. So that's all for this tutorial. Make sure to watch the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.